airport's a good 45 from here, but I think you'll be all right if you leave in the next two minutes. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, my friend, but you gave me until 2.15, right? Yeah. Now you got two minutes. <sighs> you know, I, I, I've been coming here ever since I was a kid. Ever since this was nothing but old Jews and old Cubans. And to tell you the truth, I love it here. I really do. I love it then and I love it now. So I'm not going to leave. So have a meal with me, OK? You hungry? I'm, I swear, you pass up. These are the best crab cakes in town. I swear to God. Much better than that crap we were eating in Managua. Remember that? I don't know if that was Mexican, Puerto Rican. I don't know what it was, but it was crap. Remember? I hated it. I didn't mind it. I had some pork dish I quite liked. One minute. Well, a second ago, you said two minutes. What, what's going on here? Time flies, huh? <laughs> you, you're a character. I was telling my friends this morning how yesterday you come to me and you don't get out of town in 24 hours, I'm going to shoot you on sight. Come on, what is that? They thought it was a joke. They started laughing. You tell them about the man you killed? The way you did it? Because I found nothing funny in that. Maybe I should have killed you, huh? Maybe I made a mistake. Well, we all have regrets. Cut me a little slack here, okay? Does nothing count that I let you live? No. Oh, I'm giving you the same consideration right now. You can get up and go. 30 seconds. So what are you going to do? In front of all these people, you're going to pull out a gun, and you're going to shoot an unarmed man? You're unarmed, huh? Hey, you got eyes. You see a piece on me? 20 seconds. OK. 10. You know what? Seriously? You come and you interrupt my meal, you won't eat with me. This is bullshit. This is supreme bullshit. Gonna have a lot of questions. Nothing I can't answer. You might think that you cornered him. Didn't give him a choice. Oh, he had a choice. How's the hat? I was wondering if it shrunk. You know, got a little too tight. You took it off your head, and now you're suffering from sunstroke. You do know that we're not allowed to shoot people on sight anymore. I didn't, and haven't been for I don't know, maybe a hundred years. He pulled first. It's not about who pulled first. <clears throat> you remember the meth head last year, the one who pulled the shotgun? That ended up on what page nine? This, this bullshit. This is going to be on the nightly news.